Hola Divas, it's Kanitha the Diva, your YouTube video vixen. And um, really today I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit of why I've been gone. I know I told you all before that I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Um, which to the best of my understanding is mostly just consistent ulcers in your large, in, for my case, large intestine. Um, I'm not completely clear on it because I don't understand why, uh, I understood why the first few weeks I was so out of it because when they're running tests on you or they're trying uh, different drugs on you etc you know you're kind of out of it when you go in for the colon they did a colonoscopy a upper endoscopy and an ultrasound from inside out the ultrasound inside out they didn't have to give me any drugs but I got that done the same day as my colon and upper endoscopy and they had to drug me for that and they had just drugged me a few days before um, when I came in for the pains um, because what's sorry how it all started, I went to a hospital to go see my uncle, I fainted. Um, couldn't leave the hospital, I couldn't walk out. My cousin had to wheel me out. Um, so, well, she, yeah. So she brings me home and the next day, you know, of course my mother made an appointment right away because all I did was sleep all day. When I got home, my mother made an appointment for me or I think I called when I woke up. Made an appointment to go to the doctor and uh, the doctor when he saw me he said you have to go to the ER because I'm not equipped to take care of you here they said that I was dehydrated we didn't think it was a big deal I had diarrhea for about two months so it was understandable that I was dehydrated but they were saying if you had diarrhea for two months something's seriously wrong so they gave me um, Dilaudid I think it was called for the pain so I was drugged up then um, as well as they gave me some IVs um, they ran x-rays of my abdomen and lower pelvic area and they found a shadow on my uterus so we were kind of scared could that be cancer or something and anyway so then I had to come back a couple days later got the upper end which is where they go down your throat with a microscope sorry with a camera and also um, colonoscopy where they go up your butt with the camera and they found out that they said I had a bunch of ulcers in my large intestine. So then I had to come back. They gave me these pills, but they gave me three bottles of it. And that didn't last hardly any time because I have to take three of those horse pills three times a day. Along with, um, they put me on prenatal vitamins because my iron is so low and they told me to double up with multivitamins. And then I already have the medication I take on the daily. So I'm up to 14 pills a day now. But the point was that um, after going in and out of the hospital, I never had to spend the night, but I would come home and I'd be like, just sleep for like the next two days. The rest of that day and the next two days, I'd just sleep, just be worn out. Um, and plus when you're like coming off the drugs that they give you, um, you're kind of grumpy <laughs> so because you go from a really relaxed state to like everything annoys you and I mean I love my neighbors and stuff but there are a lot of children around here and stuff like that and normally I'm the one always outside playing with the kids and stuff so they didn't understand Kanitha sick you know and then it started creeping me out because I told them I would wake up and I felt so bad because they'd be like um, are you gonna come outside I'm like no leave me alone I don't feel good and I wake up and there's like flowers all over my bed. They were leaving me flowers. And then that kind of creeped me out because I was like, did they think I was dying? But um, no, overall though, I mean, I'm okay. Um, but I had a lot of weak time. I couldn't walk for about two weeks. Um, I could run to the bathroom and I just barely make it. But um, I was just in a lot of pain <laughs> and uh, I don't know what happened that made me so weak that I couldn't walk. Um, I think it's because I did lose appetite completely. So I wasn't really eating. And I dropped 10 pounds, which I would have liked to have left off, but I gained it back. And yeah, I just had a lot of weak days. So I have to do things when it works. Um, my first weekend really like 
go do something. I was so excited. Um, I went with my friend Danielle to her wedding and I actually did very well the whole time. So I was really proud. And I've been working on a video for you guys for months. The reason why it took so long was partially because I had such weak moments. I could only work for like maybe an hour. But my house, uh, uh, you'll see the video. My bedroom alone, crazy messy was it. But I've been working on organizing and I got, I've been like watching a lot of stuff on YouTube, reading books, and now I have some like homekeeping Bible, Martha Stewart's homekeeping handbook. So um, I've been just on this new cleaning kick, but I'm doing well now and I just want to tell you guys why I was so MIA and I will be having some videos coming up soon so let me know if there's anything you want to see okay talk to you later stay fierce bye bye